gone to London Marathon, volunteered at the marathon and met up with an old friend which was nice, my old friend Bill, so that was good. Um, and it's been exhausting, I've been doing, went to the park run and then went for a bike ride and then did the marathon and then went for coffee and Grey's Inn and then uh, went shopping and all the stuff you do in London, you know, and I'm knackered. Anyway, just before I left for London, I meant to do an unboxing video for you and I completely forgot. So I'm going to do it now. Uh, a couple of days before I left for London, I got a box through the post. Now the outside was just a boring old postage box, you know, big boxes they just send kitten from Amazon, you know, that sort of thing. However, inside the box was this box, which says on here, if you can read that, I don't know read it. Congratulations! Now, why it says congratulations I'm not sure because I didn't buy, I wasn't giving it as a birthday present or a wedding present or anything like that. It was just something I liked on Amazon that I bought. So I'm not sure congratulations is entirely appropriate, but it's a very, very sweet thought because I got this all the way from Japan. Okay, and um. It's also got something written on, I'll assume that's German, because it's got a number on, so I'll assume it's German. Um, and it's got some on that side, and it's got congratulations uh, on that side. Oh, and it's also got the Japanese at the top, look. Now, my Japanese is not perfect, okay? Um, I can read Chinese better than I can Japanese. I have no idea what that says, unfortunately, because my grasp of hiragana is absolutely appalling. So, <laughs> um, I'm better at Japanese. If you're uh, Chinese rather, if you've seen me, I just love Chinese characters, really good with Chinese characters. Japanese characters, not so much. Although I speak Japanese better than I speak Chinese, but I read Chinese better than I speak Japanese, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I bought this from Japan, I love Japan, and one of the things they have in Japan is something that I thought was rather useful, and they normally use it for school, but I thought you could use it for anything really, although I'm only going to use it for special occasions because it is very, but it cost me 90 quid. So I am going to only use this for special occasions. But you're curious not what's in it now, aren't you? Well, I will show you if we can get in this box. Um, hang on. Uh, uh, wait a minute. There we go. Most, I mean, isn't this beautiful? This box is amazing. And I'm surprised it hasn't got some cute little animal on it because... Oh, actually it has! It's got some teddy bears and things on Yeah, so I mean that's it. So, um, I didn't honestly... You know, I, I... You know, most times when you get things from anywhere, it just comes in a package and it's just boring. So what I've got in here, well first I've got these... This little teddy bear thing. This fluffy bleh thingy, this little fluffy whatever it is. These are things I've already hung on it, they're not things that were on it when, it when I bought it, so, right. And this was a Hello Kitty rabbit that I was given as a birthday present, because it was around Easter time, sort of. It was the end of March, so someone bought me that as Easter sort of come birthday present, which was rather nice, I think. Isn't that nice? Anyway, um, and they know I like Hello Kitty, so... Anyway, but I'm going to take that off for a minute, because that's not actually the rare that's part of the gift. Right. Okay, are you ready for this? I'm going to put this box on the floor because it's easy to... There we go, this... Oh, right, this is the rain cover that actually came with it. It actually came with this rain cover, which is good because I can use its protection all, all the time rather than just when it's raining, so that's good. So, yeah, although it does look rather like a really large <laughs> bathing cap, a bath cap. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, there you are. So, right, I'm gonna, yeah, that's clearly stupid. I'm gonna take it off. Right, okay. Now, what I have is this. This, these are the satchels that they use in Japan. They've got a proper name for them, but I can't remember off the top of my head. It doesn't matter. But this one, there are loads of these on Amazon. They are very expensive because their workmanship is exceedingly good. It's, it's absolutely superb. I have never seen such good needlework and such good sewing on these things. They, they're brilliant. Right, and I, but this pink one, this pink and blue, I love pink and sky blue together, I always have. 
so, you know, baby pink and sky blue I've always enjoyed as a colour combination. So I fell in love with this one. So I'm going to show you what. First of all, it's this shape. It's flat to the back and it's got padding on. Isn't that lovely? Now some rock circuits in Britain could do with having this padding on because I've had my laptop in my rock sack before now and it's just took my back out. So it's not good. These, if I can just sort of move the you guys out the way a minute, there we go. This, this padding is amazing. Look at that. Very, very good. Um, it's got sorry, uh, strips. Sorry, you can't see that. It's got strips down the sides. There we go. And it's got, um, it's got, oh, it's from a company called, there, yeah, I found the label. There you are. It's a company called Bayabab. They've got a proper name, so, like I said, I can't remember what it is. But yeah, it's from a company called Baby Out. If you're interested, go on Amazon, go on Baby Out and have a look. Right, um, it's got these, these uh, really, really, really good straps. The only slight problem with this, but that's only because it's me, is this is for a child. So when I put it on, it doesn't quite fit, but that's okay. It's not so bad that I can't wear it, so it's, it's wonderful. Right, um, so they've got the padding, which is awesome. That's the bit that you, that everyone sees. And it's got like a little uh, reflective strip on here, in case you're walking in the dark, home from school in the dark, which I think is absolutely amazing because there are a lot of children, of course, in Japan who, after their ordinary school, they go to a school club or they go to cram schools or anything, so they're going to be walking home in the dark. So this is a reflective strip so that they can be seen by cars, bikes and so on and so forth. Right, now, how do you undo this? Because, can you see a clip? No, neither can I. Well, it gets undone under here. And this is one of the most brilliant pieces of Japanese technology I've ever This is locked in. These are so secure and so locked in. Whereas in, and they're made of leather. These are real leather. They're not like cheapo cloth things like we have here in the UK. These are real leather and they are very securely hammered in with these rash, these, um, these um, I don't know what you call it, these pin things. Got them on this side. And here they've got this really secure sort of thing holding these on and this. It's all part of the same sort of, um, sort of thing. They're all linked together. Right now, the way you open it is you can't just shove it out. You can't just push it up. That doesn't work. There's this thing as well, which I'm not. That's part of the thing. Right, this is part of the catch that belongs to this, right? But you can't just sh pull it out and pull it up like you would an ordinary rock sack. What you have to do is actually turn this little. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little key on there, like a little thing. What you have to do is turn the key, see, which releases it, and then you can pull it up. This, uh, why this is so big on the bottom, I'm not sure, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. And then you pull it up, and there you go. Right. Now, this is amazing, right? Because not only do you get that, the, this, I'll go with this, right, in fact, no, I'll do that. Right, not only do you get the rucksack, that's the thing that was right around it. That is so pretty. There are, there's your cute animals on there. <laughs> right, so there's that. And... There's a little, you get a little, um, let me just put that down for a second. There we go, so you get a, a, a leaflet, sadly all written in Japanese, so if you can't read Japanese, you're screwed really. But it is beautiful. There's a little certificate there saying, yes, I own this bag because it's mine, and yes, and all that stuff. And there's, there's a thing about the bags and a whole little, there's a thing, there you are. You can see someone wearing one, you see? Yeah, that's how it works. You can see some of them on there, there's a little picture of them there and how they work. Most kids, as I said, wear these for school, but I thought that was so, they were so beautiful and so useful that I bought one. I've invested in one, finally. Like I said, 90 quid, so don't use them, believe you know, they're like you would normally look at that you'd buy from, say, Wilco or somewhere, or, or you know, Marks and Sparks or whatever. Treat it with care, treat it with respect, because they are very expensive. Only use them on special occasions. Trust me, the workmanship is superb. So there we are. There's a little like sort of leaflet about them, and also there's uh, oh, this, that's the bag that the um, the uh, yellow cover came in. So you get the cover with it as well. 
the rain cover and here is like this little I'm not even sure what this is but it's very very cute oh it's a little advert there you go they give this little advert for these rookies um, you get a pencil case for them which I'll show you in a minute so they are it's like they, they treat it like they've sent you a present basically this is a gift uh, a 90 quid gift but it's a gift to them it's like we are giving you a gift so we're going to treat it like a gift are you we're going to give you presents and cards and you know this is this is amazing I'm just going to slot that back in there if I, <laughs> if I can slot it back in there there you go it's got a little um there we go there we go there's like a little tree on there isn't that adorable they're obsessed with kids because like like everything in japan if you look even government forms have cute characters on. And this has got a couple. It's got a little parcel here and a little cat. Isn't that? I don't know if you can see that. You should be able to. But a little cat right there. Isn't that cute? <laughs> That's so cute. No, it's very kawaii. Kawaii is the word cute. Um, and they give you. Oh, yes. They give you this. Which is, of course, because you're, it's a school. You know, you have to remember that these are aimed at school children. But I'm so tiny I can wear one, so it's no problem. But because they're aimed at school children, you will get school children and things in it. So, they give you a timetable, which is nice. But I can use that to say, oh, I'm going to the marathon this day, I'm going to the park run this day, I'm going to the London 10K this time, I'm going to um, go to the Q10 this month, or whatever. I can use it for things that make sense to me. Right, so there we go. There's a little timetable there in Jap again in Japanese, I'm afraid. Yes, <laughs> and again in Haragana, and I have no idea what it says because I don't write Haragana at all. Haragana to me is just I don't. Like I said, kanji is my my main thing. I can write kanji, but Haragana and Katakana, no way. Apart from my own name, that's about it. Yeah, I I I, I write Chinese. I don't write Japanese. I speak Japanese, don't speak Chinese. Write Chinese, don't speak Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so because it's a school band, they also give you, yes, we haven't finished, they're very generous, the Japanese. They also give you a pencil box. Okay, skinny. This one's, um, yes. Now, the reason that I've got a picture of the tree on that right, is. Japanese very generous and I've been there they are the salt of the earth the Japanese they really are they are the loveliest people right but not only are they very um, um, generous and kind and they have some great ideas they love Q you know but one of the things I do love them about them is they're very spiritual there are temples everywhere you know and I don't know where this spiritually who said this whether it was Confucius or I don't know <coughs> some Shinto god or something, Shinto priest or something, but it says on this, Bao Bao's Wish, which is the name of the company, right, and it says on the bottom of there, on that corner, you go, uh, hang on, I can't see it well, there we go, it says, only God can make a tree, only God can make a tree, that's very deep isn't it, as a spiritual person myself, I found that rather lovely, I have no idea what it means, but yeah, only God can make a tree. If anyone's got any ideas of what that might be, sort of, um, what kind of, what they're trying to get at, you know, just, just let me know. Maybe it just, it's like, it's like Zen, you know, it just is what it is. You know, maybe Zen, sort of, maybe Zen thinking, maybe. You know that thing of, if a tree falls, do you hear it, or whatever it was. Yeah, it's just, maybe sort of Zen stuff, maybe. But that, they, but yeah, on there, there is, there's that little saying, and there's pencil case, and... I wouldn't be surprised if they give you some barrows as well, which, no. That's why their generosity ran out. <laughs> but yes, you get a pencil case as well. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? And um, that's all the stuff in it, so let's go back to the bag itself. Tons of room. Now, I wouldn't honestly try putting a laptop in this. Even a tiny, maybe a 10 inch or something, that's about all. Don't try putting my, something like my 17 inch in it. You, you, wreck it okay um but there's tons of space look at all this look at all the space in there that is incredible and the front of it as, as if that wasn't enough 
The front of it has a thing on here which I assume is for your name and address. Again, I can't read. Um... Oh, that's actually really handy. Hold on a minute. Um... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, that's for your name and your age and the school you go to. Yes, this is Kanji, so I can read this. It says it's your name, your age, what school you go to, etc. Et it's a name tag, basically. It's an ID tag, basically. And on the front of this ID tag, ID tag Excuse me. It's on the front of. And look how decorative these. Before we just um, look how decorative these um, these clips are. But this I don't know if you can see that because it's not zoom in. But you can see them. They've got ribbon now. There we go. Oh, they're pretty. So they've even decorated. They're so meticulous in their way of making things pretty. But they've even, you know, and there's a bow. There's actually a bow on it. There's a bow on it. Look. Which, as a Hello Kitty fan, works for me. <laughs> There's a clip here, a very, very solid clip, I might add. There we go. Which um, has got this thing hanging off. That's a, I'm going to keep that, actually. Even though I don't need it, I'm going to keep it. It's, it's beautiful. Um, and is that here? Ugh. We have... <laughs> we have the slot to put the uh, gift card in and some more room. Now that is good, and the workmanship on this, if you look at the sewing and needlework on that, it's just absolutely gorgeous. See, there's a lining in it and everything, it's absolutely beautiful. There we go, so I'm going to do that up again for a second, just so we... Uh... Yep, do that, there we go. There you go, my little... Um... Japanese school satchel, except I'm not going to be using it for school, obviously, <laughs> too old for that. But yeah, they are so well made that they can handle anything practically. However, don't think that means you can take them up a mountain or something. <laughs> they're not made for that. Okay, they're made for things to So if, you, if you've if got to college or university, they're great. These would be perfect. They are, like I said, they're because of the quality of the workmanship, though, they are expensive. They're about 90 quid. But they are absolutely wonderful and I'm going to use that maybe next time I go down to London I might use this carefully <laughs> but yeah that's my Japanese school pack for those who uh, love stuff about Japan and I know there are a hell of a lot of people on YouTube who love stuff about Japan the reason I know that is because my uh, chopstick video the one I took in Japan about chopsticks got about I don't know 5,000 views or something stupid you know, uh, it was amazing. That one video, and it was just about eating the bento. I, like, I have no idea. But I'm very grateful to everyone who did like that video. Thank you so much. And anyone who's watched, any one of you who's watched any of my videos, even if it's only one or two of you, thank you so much. You're so kind. But yeah, here we go. This is my um, Japanese box set. Isn't that just delicious? Very well made, great craftsmanship. Much better than the ones we have in Britain. Padded, strong straps, amazing clip on it. And oh, and here, now there's a, it's just one mystery I have, right? There is a clip, there is like a little sort of arch, I'll bring that close to the camera, you can see. There is like this little, um, this little arched clip sort of hook thing here. I have no idea what that's for, whether that's, I don't know if that's for hanging it on a coat hook or something, or it's just for decoration, or whether it's to hang all your bits and bobs off, because Japanese kids love decorating their, their rucksacks and their phones with danglers and things, so I don't know if it's for that or what. So if anyone could actually solve the mystery of what this actual hook is for, because it does tell you on that thing, but like I said, it's in Japanese, so I can't read it. Um, please let me know, because I would love to know. Otherwise, it's pretty self-explanatory, I think. Looks at straps, good workmanship, uh, flat, <clears throat> plenty of room, both in there and in the pocket, ID card, etc, etc. Timetable, and a few bits, the timetable, the pencil case. Another leaflet, no. So yeah, there you go, that is my Japanese rucksack. So, tell me what you think.
me a like if you like it and uh, tell me, leave me a comment, tell me what you think of this beautiful rock star. Isn't it lovely? Bye! Are you something nice, eh?